UFOs are real, burgeoning, and not going away. I am your intrepid host, L.A. Marzulli. This is our weekly UFO update. I'd like to thank a friend of our show. He's been in several of our films, Al Matthews. Um, Al, thanks so much for forwarding me this. Um, you'll see this is from another person's website, and we always try to give people uh, credit for that. So uh, John Adam, that's number one. So please show the folks where we got this from. And I want to thank uh, uh, the gentleman who, who put this up. And... Um, We'll show you what we found. And once again, thanks for Al. We'll get into this and so much more. But first, a word from our trusted sponsor. Have you started to notice an increase in the appearance of wrinkles, fine lines, bags under your eyes, or other usual signs of aging? It may be more than just stress. Wrinkles and other marks of aging are one of the top signs that your collagen levels are low. It becomes more vital every year that you get older to supplement collagen into your diet for the sake of your skin's health. As you've gotten older, for example, you may have found that your skin isn't as strong. Whether you're in your 20s or 90s, you can experience the healthy aging effects collagen has on your skin with the help of this multi-collagen powder that I love to use. Folks, I've noticed a reduction in the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. My skin has once again regained its youthful glow, hydration, and elasticity. Take a look at this mug, folks. Also, <laughs> Although I originally bought it to rejuvenate my skin, I was shocked to find that it also improved the health of my hair, nails, and joints as well. Folks, I want you to try it as well and experience the amazing effects that I've noticed in myself. Get a bag today for 51% off, plus receive several free bonuses before their spring sale ends by going to healthwithla.com. That's healthwithla.com and get ready to look your best this new year 2023. Folks, 60-day money-back guarantee. Five types of collagen you need from four different sources. For every order today, we will donate a nutritious meal to a hungry child in your honor through our partnership with NoKidHungry.org. I mean, you can't beat this stuff. No, uh, it's non-GMO. It's free of artificial flavors, colors, preservatives, sweeteners, and gluten-free antibiotics. Folks, this stuff is great. Go to healthwithla.com. That's healthwithla.com. Okay, so there we go. The Roundtable of Knowledge by HTH. There it is right there. And um, hats off to that gentleman. Visit his website. What's interesting is this is what he showed and his clip says, scientists share much, include a clear UFO photograph. What's so interesting about this, and we'll get into that in just a second, estimated diameter of this craft is 2.6 to 2.85 miles wide. <clears throat> it's a better shot of it. And finally, there we go. So we're looking at a two mile wide craft here. Is it a hoax? No way to tell, is there? No way to tell, I wasn't there. Um, I don't know where the original footage came from. The point I'm trying to make is this, that the phenomenon is real. There's no doubt about that. Um, it's manifesting. Al Matthews has seen mile-wide craft, mile-wide craft up in Vancouver, on Vancouver Island. That's where he lives. So he's seen it. And what was interesting, it was a group of people, they were all switched off. And Al knows what that is. Uh, this thing is like in the sky, and Al's, you know, videoing it, but all the people... They look at it and they just kind of go about their business like it's not even there. They're switched off. These entities have the ability to do that. For instance, when, when Robert Salas is abducted, and we show that in our Watchers film, and also later on in our Crop Circle film and our abduction film, number four and number five in the series. So Salas is sitting up in bed. There's two hooded figures in his room. And... He looks over and his wife is totally switched off. We've heard this over and over and over again. Next thing you know, he's being levitated off the bed. He goes through the window. The abduction phenomenon is absolutely real. And UFO mile-wide craft are real. So here's the deal. What are we going to do? And I've been saying this for years. Men faint from fear. Let's tie it back into the biblical prophetic narrative. Jesus warns us that men will faint from fear from what is coming upon the earth. 
Now, I don't know what Jesus is alluding to there. It could be a lot of things. It could be, you know, um, Nibiru coming. It could be a mile-wide asteroid. It could be a whole lot of things. But it's actually just a few things it could be, right? <clears throat> a mile-wide asteroid, the planet Nibiru or planet X. Or it could be a mile-wide or a two-mile-wide UFO. And several of them. We know, we showed this clip last week, that when people see something that they don't understand and that there's nothing in their grid system to prepare them for it, okay, they become believers in the phenomenon, number one, and oftentimes they are, they are terrified, they are scared. So number five, of course, in our series is on, on crop circles here in the ongoing UFO series. You can go to streaming.lamarzuli.net, streaming.lamarzuli.net, and you can stream them, or you can just go and buy them by going to lamarzuli.net and check it out. So streaming, streaming at lamarzuli.net or lamarzuli.net, and you can avail yourself of those two items. But I'm not done yet. We were in uh, Colorado, and we were filming for number six in the series, which, by the way, is on cattle mutilations. We'll have it out by June. We did some amazing interviews, the, the, the flagpole, the, 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 the tent pole, the mainstay, whatever you want to call it, of the film is Chuck Zukowski. And, and Chuck was amazing on camera and gave us all sorts of <clears throat> great videos and pictures. Chuck has been, been examining and looking and delving into the phenomenon literally for decades. So at one point we were on a rancher's farm. His name is Tom. We'll just leave it at that. And Tom was there, and he's been interviewed by Chuck and others. He had 16 mutilations on his property, 1,400 acres, almost 1,400 acres of land in Colorado. Very, you know, out-of-the-way place to get to. 1,400 acres, 16 cows mutilated. And I asked him, what's it like living with this? Does it create fear? He says, absolutely, it creates fear. So we're looking at something, and if it's so benevolent, if these are our space brothers— now, there's several UFO conferences that are happening. I'm not going to be at the one in the UK. We just can't. Um, we were invited. I want to go, but we just can't go because it's, it's a lot of resources just to get us over there to speak for one hour. So what we've done is we've said, hey, we'll give you the, the abduction UFO film. You can just show that for free. And then I can do a Zoom chat for a Q&A after. How does that sound? They haven't gotten back to me with that yet. We'll see if that happens. There's another UFO conference that's happening uh, in, in an undisclosed location right here in the States. It's all the usual suspects. Was I invited? Of course not. You know why? Because I bring something that's different to the table, and they don't want to hear it. When I was at the Vernal, Utah, and I'm not, I'm not crying. I get it. It goes with the territory, okay? I'm not, I'm not at all you know, mad about it or angry. I'm used to it. It's what I do. I've been ridiculed ever since I got into this, since the Lord changed my ministry 25 years ago. So I'm used to it. I got thick hide. But when we were in Vernal, Utah at the conference, and I was shunned, not all the speakers, but several of the speakers shunned me. Absolutely didn't want anything to do with me. What is the truth? If these are benevolent space brothers, then answer me this. Why do they take five-year-old boys against their parents' will and abduct them and implant them? Why is that? Why is it that every single abductee that appears in our film, and if you haven't seen it, you need to watch that film. Binge watch it. Binge watch all, all five in the series right now because it, it's that important. But number four, the abduction phenomena is incredible because we get into... These people, all of them, have been damaged by what they have seen. It's not some friendly space brothers. They're not happy about what happened. They, some of them still live in fear. Being taken is no picnic. Crop Circles, the latest film, we show that there's a convergence between the ancient megalithic sites found all over the planet and the modern-day phenomenon of crop circles. In my opinion... It's the same entities that are doing this. Folks, UFOs are real, burgeoning and not going away. Thanks so much for visiting us. Hit the subscribe button. We will see you back here tomorrow with one of our favorite shows, Questions with L.A.